Hi, I'm Logan Perrin, and this is my slideshow. Here's my abstract. Uh, so this is basic information uh, for the introduction. This is information on the main three punches. The three main styles of punches are a jab, a hook, and lastly, an uppercut. The jab comes from the front in a straight line. The hook can come from either side from each hand and curves to hit from the side of the head. Lastly, the uppercut comes from the bottom to land on the chin. The chin is a big weak point for most people, so that's why the uppercut is a very powerful punch. About boxing. Boxing is a combat sport where con contestants try to land hard blows on each on the opponent, and they're mostly in the head. Bouts range from three to 12 rounds, depending on the level of boxing, and each round normally lasts three minutes. Uh, why this experiment matters? This experiment matters because the experiment tests the force difference with and without gloves for each type of punch, and some have a higher rate of change than the others. It will in turn help make the world of boxing safer if they add more padding for certain punches or angles. Questions. How much of a difference does the padding make? What type of does this, what impact does the type of strike have on force? What effect does padding have on the force generated? And how does padding affect the different angles at which punches can be thrown? Those are my questions for the, uh, my hypothesis. I predict that the jab punch, punching power is cut nearly in half at around 45%, whereas the hook is predicted to be cut down by only 35. In the uppercut, was only reduced in power by 30%. Those are my predictions. Uh, my materials, scrap wood, which mostly came from Home Depot. The rest was found, uh, I had some lying around. Two bungee cords, a boxing force measurement device, aluminum pipe, um, three foot feet long and one inch in diameter. And then I used a saw to cut the wood. I already own that. Uh, the experimental setup. My variables or the independent variable is if the uh, strike has padding or not. The dependent is the force exerted. And the most important part of the experiment is the setting up of the me mechanism, which leads into the procedure. The control is weather, gravity, condition of machine, amount of padding and same weight of materials. The procedure. One, the striking mechanism is set up to fire. Next, back up to a safe distance. Fire them with the rope trigger. Record the results on a clipboard. Inspect the mechanism to make sure it's still working. Then rinse and repeat for each type of punch and then add the padding back and do it again. So these are my results, different poundage and force. Um, so the jab, my hypothesis for the jab was 45%, but it actually turned out to be 53. The hook was predicted to be 35, but ended up being more like the jab and 49%. And the uppercut was pretty spot on, 30%. Um, here are my charts, my data down here. Uh, yeah. Discussion. My hypothesis was correct in some aspects of my experiment and others it was wrong because the straight and jab were pretty close to my hypothesis, only around 7% off, but the uppercut and the uppercut was perfect and it was exactly 30%. But the hook was 
you know, pretty different. Uh, it was more like the jab instead of more like the uppercut because it got cut in at like 49%. So I do believe that an error was that I cut the bungee cords just by eyeballing it instead of measuring it with a saw or with a ruler. So uh, moving forward, other experiments that could be inspired by this experiment could be other experiments involving boxing safety, including the headgear used in amateur fights, along with the training methods and the rules of boxing. So this could apply to headshot rules, um, you know, overall padding differences, uh, maybe adding more padding, the, the more heavy weight you get, you know, stuff like that. Uh, applications. This information is useful for people looking to get into boxing. Maybe they don't under, like know if they want to try because it's dangerous, you know, stuff like that. Sports scientists who look into head trauma. So this could be very important for the force, like the force exerted on the head compared to concussion rates. And Boxing glove manufacturers, you need to know how well the gloves are protecting the other fighters. So this should be more applied to maybe in conjunction with this, with uh, people who look into head trauma. This could be in conjunction with them to maybe take data from them and then add padding accordingly. Uh, these are my citations. And that is all, so.